Hello ladies and gentlemen, days and thems, I'm August and today I will be teaching you how a radiant sky plays split. Hey, Ram. Welcome back to the video and I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the tremendous support that y'all showed on the last video of the Jet gameplay. Um, we hit a thousand subs, we hit 700 followers on Twitch, so shout out to everybody that's hit that sub button, turned on the post notifications and dropped that follow on Twitch. I appreciate it so much, so, so much. So thank you guys for all the support on that video and I will be making some more Jet gameplay for you guys since you guys like it so much. I will feed the people what the people want. I will go back to doing for a little bit i did have a ko vod for a cent but my file got corrupted and that was just you know it was a great game too i wish i could have broke it down for you guys but i'll get another ko ascent vod i will work on a sova vod also that should be my next um but yeah thank you guys so much for all the support but i just wanted to jump into this round this pistol round right now they have no smokes on their team on the opposite team we have damn near perfect comp we only have arena instead of a raise but other than that our comp is pretty much perfect um they have no smokes they have two horrible sentinels um there's no reason to play um chamber or sage on split at this point you might as well just run a cypher and just be you know good with it or a killjoy one or the other whichever one you're more comfortable with cypher can get early info and main um a killjoy really can't do that that's the only difference or b main like you can get early info with cypher easily so we did end up losing this pistol around i did with it was very unfortunate but we're gonna jump into this gameplay because we went into overtime and we should not have went into overtime against a no smoke comp but honestly it was not a good game at all we really had to bring it back i basically had us i was dragging the team by by my coattails at the end of the game so i'm just gonna jump into these rounds round by round skip a few and try to make the video as short as possible maybe the 13 15 minute mark so thank you guys so much for all the support we're just gonna jump into this next round this smoke right here is the best smoke that you can do for a main if you do not have a sentinel playing a then your omen or astro or whatever should be smoking like this so it's not info starving you you know if they cross ramp everything like that and if they do push out to cross ramp they push out right into your crosshairs perfectly and you can get an easy free kill nothing toward that watch your b mid and b oh we should keep b main now, as you see here, I said we should keep B main. I see a lot of players not take this B main control when they're taking mid. You don't need to sit back on site like this. This is very bad because you're going to get pinched from B main and from heaven if they take it. We end up just getting a crossfire because they have no smokes. But in general, if you are a B player and you know they're coming up heaven, your job should be taking those that 1v1 or that 1v2 in b main and winning it so you can control a little bit more space so your team can rotate in you will see me playing this angle a lot since they have no smokes and also a lot of the times the duelist peak before this smoke drops so it allows me to get a free kill and since i'm very confident with my aim it usually pans out me getting a free kill Now this right here is a perfect example of how to play split and how not to play split all in one round. Now I'm going to break this down to you. Cypher does his early A main camp and he sees chamber there. Who cares? It's a chamber. Okay, he's going to be lurking A. We have everything we have Cypher set up here. We're good. So I'm instant rotating over. But look at my jet. My jet goes back site. They took mid control. He needs to be taking B main with his op. He needs to be taking that 1v1 with the op there so he can take control so we can fall in. It makes the job a lot harder when we have to fall in and they're all just staring in one direction. At least they can go B main. See, if he went B main, he catches the chamber that was A at the beginning of the round. 
See, and that's what why it's important to play split in that way of taking main controls. Because if you don't, our jet he got sandwiched. They wrapped pillar. They they wrapped both sides of pillar. I stopped one, and then they wrapped and they came out B main. He had three different angles to peek. I was going to type it to him, but honestly, I just said it's not it's not even worth it. And this is another thing right here: smokes in one v scenarios like this. In 1v1 scenarios like this, it is very bad to smoke like this, to smoke them up. You're giving them a lot of room to play. And also in 2v1s, 3v1s, 4v1s, 5v1s, why are you smoking off a guy that's literally alone? Why are you smoking off that? you giving them a free way to come out of that smoke. They can come out on three different ways, everything like that. And that was just honestly, that was a bad round by us. It was a good round at the beginning and then a bad round for the rest of the round. I need help. Hey. One enemy remaining. That's three. Switching sides. And just like that, we are now onto the second half, <clears throat> onto the pistol round. Now, what I like to do as Sky, I like to buy a dog and a flash. And wherever we go, I dog. If we go A, I dog straight into sight. You know, I go up to the barrier and I just dog off a rip. And from that point, I am just clearing the close left, the rafters, the close right, the flower pot, and I'm going toward elbow. Now, if it was the old dog, now that the skies, the sky dog has been nerfed, I look around to elbow so I can see if I can see them. But now I just jump there and just, you know, pray that I see them or that I just catch them when they're about to peak or something like that. But honestly this is a normal thing to do which is dog sight as sky if you're going a no matter if it's pissed around or not you just dog sight a sky or you flash up as on ramp off rip, and Close. that's it Healer down. yeah one coming up yeah heaven. headshot one enemy remaining Hit 26, right side. 52. Now we one piss around, and as I always say, the second round is the hardest round in the game. So let's see. Back elbow. Could have got out. Now, I blame this round completely on me because if I did not play off my Cypher here, we win. Now, as you can see in the previous clip, it's a little bit of audible discuss here because I'm so confused on what my Cypher's play is here because his post playing is really bad. Like, this is really bad. Everything like that is really bad. And I'm trying to support him because he's been lost this whole game and he's not fragging at all. So, I'm trying to support him. And me supporting him ended up us losing the round because if I'm hell, even though my jet over peaked and everything like that, if I'm hell, I can tell my teammates to peek off of me. I can be in the I can be the X factor for us to win the round. I can tell them to peek off of me, elbow. I, I'm taking contact when they come off screens. Peek off of me. I can say peek off of me, heaven. I'm taking contact. Peek off of me, da da da, and we can easily win the round. I blame that round completely on me. I shouldn't have been supporting my cipher, and we end up losing it. Oh well. Just took side. Right side, right side. Right side. Standing. One enemy remaining. Sit outside, B. My thought process here is they have no smoke and they have two horrible sentinels for this map. So they're probably going to three stack A. So I can come here, pop really my R, see if there's for sure three A here, and then my team can pop out B where there should be a chamber or a sage playing B solo, and they can take the 1v4. Seek them out. Found them. 
That's three here. Come on. Pop out B. Cypher, go B. There's another. Dead, dead. So the fake worked. We took what a happened? 2v1 on the jet on site and we won it. We end up taking the site. And as you can heaven. see here, I am still walking because they don't know if I went back mid and I can flank heaven or if I push through A and I'm flanking them th oh, wow. through spawn or if I went back B main. Me having my presence unknown makes the run a lot harder for them because they cannot dissect where each and every player is going to be. And giving them free kills and everything like that is just not worth it. Just play the round safe. The same thing. Go go toward B, Omen go sewers, flash, drop yeah. bomb, give give them bomb and go everybody else go toward B. Just go toward B, go toward B, yes. That's what we're doing. Go B. Flash ramp, I'm gonna flash out of Two coming out heaven. One drop tower. Wow. Oh. What? One more hell. Nice. Last guy's on site. Right under. Nice. Hit A this round. Now I wanted to fast forward this these rounds because honestly, there's genuinely nothing. We hit A every single time after this round and we took sight and the teams threw the post plant from over peaking every single time. And we ended up going into make, OT, make, so we're just make, gonna make, skip make, to the make. first OT round right here. Up so, oh, be heaven. It's gonna be three. They walled heaven. Break wall, we gotta break heaven wall. Spike planted. Let me dog. Nothing mill. Nothing rafter. Could be hell. No. That smoke don't do shit but help them. And this round right here is a perfect example of what I was dealing with with my team the entire game. I have never seen something honestly so dumb in a game of Valorant. Go over him. Go over him. Cancel. Go over him. I don't push through. This flash right here was simply to deny Jet of the updraft and trying to kill me before I intervent. So I threw the flash and hoping to blind him if he is updrafting or not. It's a 1v1 scenario and I plan for B main because there's only two possibilities for me to be B or plan for B main and that's either to go B main. So I start off by faking the sound B main just in case he's close and walking back out or it's to wrap around pushing spawn and going heaven. So what I did was I faked the sound. I came back and I just sat here on pillar waiting and waiting and I did not peek on that left side because he's probably going to be looking there because it's planning for B main. So I ended up peeking down below and I won the round. Ah, now there's some serenity. We're in double OT now and you see me on my angle right here. You already know what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. You already know. Two, uh, uh. Don't smoke. Smoke top ramp. You guys can pick up heaven. There's three rocking out four. All four. One more ramp. Late ramp. Playing. They're playing. Yeah, and they're playing. They're playing mid. We should just. Yeah, we'll do fake. Go. Go. Ahead. Go B. Go B. Go B. Omen come sewers. Flash. Omen drop bomb. Yeah, yeah, just come out to wall. If you get two walls, you should just be right Just make no noise and we'll be close to the top now. Time to hunt. One ramp. They know. 
He's already rotating. Uh, leave. Don't don't go. Don't hit. Don't hit. Come back at. Do not hit. Jet rotating like that gave us all the info that we needed. We knew that they knew that it was an A fake. So we come back A, we hit the site. Nice. My Cypher gets the kill on chamber mid. And we right win here. the round. We win the game, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not going to take up too much of the time here. I'm going to let the round play out and everything. But yeah, that, make sure you guys drop that sub, Jet drop that knows. like. And make sure you guys follow me on my Twitch. You guys can also follow me on my Twitter. Jet's I just right uploaded here. a little frag. Um, highlight video whatever you want to call it on the twitter and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's been august peace out that's going around bro <laughs> one less i'll have it or i'll yeah, have the screens one enemy remaining <laughs> raptor ggs attackers win nice.